Hi learners, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we will do the part 9 of the same topic. So we will see in that chapter elements. So here this is the figure given. The figure shows the value of a temple. Find the cost of whitewashing it at the rate of rupees 100 per square meter. So this is actually we have to find the first the area of the temple and then we have to find the cost of it. So here is a triangle and this is a rectangle because this is 8 and this is 4.6. So this is a rectangle. So for area of the temple, uh, this one temple is going to be this area of this triangle plus this area of the rectangle. So area of the triangle that is half base into height plus the area of the rectangle means length into breadth. So let us see the uh, triangle first. So now this is 8 means this part also should be 8. And this is the whole part is 9.2 out of this one. This RS is 4.6. So 9.2 minus 4.6. So this is going to be 4.6. So the height of this one is going to be 4. Point, this also will be 4.6. So now we know that is half into base is 8 for this as well 8 meter. So 8 into height. Plus this one, this will be 8 into 4.6 plus this length is 8 and this the breadth of this is 4.6 of the rectangle. So this step is important. So now two ones are, two fours are. So this is one and the, because this is plus, so we will solve this separately. So when you solve this part, so 4 into 4.6 that is going to be 18.4 and this one will be 36.8. So when you add it together, that will be 55.2 meters square. So this is the what we got the area. But now they have asked for the cost. So what did they say? Find the cost at the rate of that is rupees 100 per square meter. So a cost of white washing for one per means one meter square that is rupees 100. So cost of white washing for this one 55.2. So you are going to cross multiply this one. So that is going to be 55.2 into 100. So that will be the piece 5520. So this is the answer. A car manufacturing company has a logo given in this is the figure given. So now it has black color in the center. Can you see here? This is black and silver color around it. So this is silver, this is silver, and this part is silver. It's written here silver. And find the area of the portion colored in black and the area of the portion colored in silver. So we have to find the area for this black separately and for the silver separately. So now what you can do first thing, we can see this is a, the black portion is a triangle. And the silver portion, this is a, these three trapeziums. So what I have done. This is, I have put the number one for this one, number two for this, and number three for this because the dimensions are different. So first, uh, anything you can see, either you can see black or we can see silver. Anything can be done first. So area of the silver portion. So what the area of the silver portion means, I, I did the area of the trapezium one plus area of the trapezium two plus the area of the trapezium three. This is what I told. So now you know the formula for the area of trapezium. That is either you write A plus B divided by two into H or half into a plus b into h both is the same so half into a plus b into h for the same here for half a plus b into h for this a plus b into h so now let us see for trapezium one so because the dimensions are different so now this we can consider as a and this as b into h this is the height that is two so what we will do here four plus five into h is this is given two. So this is the first part. The second one, what are the dimensions? Four, five, and the height is two, same. Four plus five plus three into four plus five multiplied by two. Now for the third one, what we can see? This is, see this part is, this is given as four, means this total is going to be, see because this is four, as well as the same will be four, means four plus four, that is going to be eight. And this is 6. So what we can write here, 8 plus 6 into 4 or 6 plus 8 into 4? Both the 6, uh, 6 plus 8 into 4, both is the same. So now what will you do? This, we can take for this one. Uh, yeah, before that, what we can do? 
here this you can see half this part also you can see half and this also you can see half is common over here so we can take common and then i put a square bracket for this one hope this is clear means this half is for this part this half is for this part and this half is for this part as well so now half into this will be 9 into 2 and this will be 9 into 2 again this is going to be 14 into 4 so half is here this will be 18 plus 18 plus 14 plus 56 so this uh, when you add this together that is going to be 92 so half into 92 which is going to be 46 so that is 46 centimeter square which is the for the silver portion now we will see for the this black portion that is in the form of a rectangle so area of the black portion that is the rectangle that is half into base into height so now again here what did i say here now see here this this is the base this part is the base so this part is four and this also is the four so four plus four that is eight and this is the height for it given as three so what we can write here half into eight into three so two ones are two fours are so four threes are twelve so that is twelve so area of the black portion is 12 centimeter square so that's done now you have find the area of the shaded portion shown in the figure now what you can do here uh, this let us take this figure first a so now this is the shaded one so this is the shaded one means this is a trapezium so now you know this whole part is 24 and up to here this is given as 18 so this one this part is going to be 6 because 18 plus 6 that is going to be 24 so now what we can do this part this is the shaded one this is the trapezium so we can write the area of the trapezium so now you know the formula half into a plus b into h so we can consider either this as a or this as a anything is okay so i consider this as a so that is 24 and this b so we got this as 6 so that is plus 6 and this is the height given that is 16 so into 16 so half into this is going to be 30 into 8 so two ones are two eights are and this will be 240 centimeter square so we can write the area of the shaded portion is 240 centimeter square so now here we'll see for this one so here we cannot find out directly the area of the shaded portion because we don't have any shape this formula for this shape so what are we going to do this is a whole triangle or rectangle and from that one this is a triangle we know so we know the formula for this one and this is a semicircle so we know this formula for this as well and when you subtract well, first you have to take the area of the rectangle and from that when you subtract this we will take down the area of triangle, uh, this one triangle and the area of this semicircle when we subtract this both of them so whatever remains is the area of this shaded part so this part so now let us take area of the rectangle first so length into breadth and the dimensions are given this is 16 and this is 14 so here 16 into 14 that is 224 centimeters square now let us take the area of this semicircle so semicircle means you know the area of the circle that is pi r square so it is half semi means half so that will be pi r square divided by 2 so this you should know this formula so you know the pi value is 22 by 7 r means here see here now this is a semicircle okay so this whole part this one see this is a semicircle so this is the always the diameter of it so the radius is going to be the half of it so this is the diameter means this will be the same so this is also going to be 14 so the radius is going to be half of it that is going to be radius will be 7 so here in place of this radius will write here because that is square 7 into 7 and this will be half means this will be 1 by 2 so 7 and 7 goes up 2 ones are 2 11 are so this will be 11 into 7 that will be 77 centimeter square so we got the semicircle area now let us see for the area of the triangle so area of the triangle means half base into height so what is the base here now the base is given as 10 and the height is given as 14 so we can write it 10 into 14 so 2 ones are 2 fives are 14 fives are 70 centimeter square so now we are going to find the area of the shaded portion so as i told you from this rectangle so area of the rectangle minus this area of triangle plus area of the semicircle or you can also write here area of rectangle 
minus area of triangle minus area of semicircle both is the same see uh, so or if you are writing this plus in between you have to put a bracket for both of them so otherwise you can just write a minus area of the triangle and minus plus becomes that will be minus area of semicircle both is the same so now your area of the rectangle that is given as 224 minus area of the triangle which is given as 27 just uh, sorry uh, that is given as 70 so no, that is written here uh, okay 70 and 77 both is the same okay so here when you add it both is going to be the same 70 plus 77 so the answer is going to be the same now the area of triangle is 70 and the area of the semicircle that is given as 77 so when you add this both of them it is going to be 147 so 224 minus 147 that is 77 centimeter square so the area of the shaded portion is this one is 77 centimeter square mega is covering a keyboardal pen strand having dimensions 10 centimeter into 5 centimeter into 6 centimeter with the color shade if 10 cm square of extra sheet is required for covering each pen stand, find the area of the sheet required to cover 10 such pen stands. So now first thing you should know the surface area of cuboid is area is equal to, we can write twice into, see uh, when we write a length into width into height. So how to remember this word? Length into width and then width into height and then you will take length into height. So this one but you have to add it so twice into this one so two we, we have to keep it outside so now you know the dimensions 10 into 5 into 6 10 into 5 into 6 you can also write separately if you want length is 10 the width is 5 and the height is 10 you can write that uh, 3 over here first so now here 10 into 5 then you have 5 into 6 plus here again 10 into 6 you can just have a look at it so now this is going to be 50 plus 30 plus 60 so when you add this together that is going to be 140 so this is multiplied so that will be 280 centimeter square so now what did I say uh, that 10 centimeter square of extra sheet is required for covering each pen stand so for one pen stand for each pen stand an extra 10 centimeter is needed so total sheet required for one pen stand will be this is 280 plus this 10. So that is going to be 290 centimeters square for one sheet. So how many sheets are here? Therefore, total sheet required for we have here 10 such pen stands like you here for we have here 10 pen stands. So that will be 290 into 10. So that will be 2900 centimeter square. So we can say area of the sheet required to cover 10 pen stands is 2900 centimeter square the diameters of two cylinders are in the ratio 3 is to 4 we have to find the ratio of the heights if the volumes are equal so now let us consider that the diameters are given d1 and d2 be the diameters of two cylinders so now a ratio is given as 3 is to 4 so what we can do here d1 is to d2 is equal to 3 is to 4 so this also we can write here d1 by d2 is equal to 3 by 4 so volume of cylinder what is the formula for volume cylinder that is pi r square h so r so here the diameter is given so here we need r so you know for the diameter for the r radius is equal to so we can also write like this diameter is equal to twice r so radius will be d divided by 2 is equal to the radius so you know that this will be always diameter is twice r so the radius is going to be the half of the this one diameter so in place of this one we can write here pi d1 by 2 because d1 by 2 square and this we can put as h1 because there are two this the volume of this the ratio is given h1 is equal to pi for this first you will write uh, uh, pi uh, d2 by 
2 whole bracket square into h2 so now we know d1 by d2 so that is given as d1 is given as 3 so we can write here 3 and uh, d2 is 4 so we can write it uh, here in place of this we can write here 3 and this is 2 whole bracket square and h1 will keep it as it is and now this pi will write here d2 what it is that is 4 or we can do like this if you are confused with that uh, d2 is 4 so d2 is 4 and this 2 and square of it and h2 so now what you end up and say this pi and pi gets cancelled or what you can do if you don't know how to cancel out here this pi if you bring it on this side this is going to get divided so this and this gets cancelled so now when you square this 3 by 2 whole bracket like square so that will be 9 3, uh, 3 square is 9 and 2 square is 4 so that is going to be 9 by 4 and that will be h1 and this again this is going to be 4 by 2 whole bracket square that is going to be 16 by 4 so 16 by 4 h, h square so now we want the ratio of the heights if the volumes are equal so ratio means now this is h1 is in the numerator if this comes here that will go in the denominator this is already here if this goes on the other side this is going to get flip over so that is going to be 4 by 9. So this and this gets cancelled. That is 1. So h1 by h2, that will be 16 divided by 9. So we can also write that as h1 is to h2, that will be 16 is to 9. So this is the answer. So by this one, we have completed today's work. Do like and subscribe to my channel so you get the notification of other parts. Thank you.